everybody, it's me, long time no see. So, um, this is not an update video, as you will probably see whenever I give the when I give this a title. Um, I'm not sure what the title is going to be at the moment, but it won't say update video. Um, so I actually, the person who had originally won Ali Quartet did not contact me. Um, I think I gave them more than enough time. I even said I wasn't, I was going to give them till Saturday, which was, um, a, a couple of days, a couple of days ago. And so now I'm doing the giveaway video and, um... I'm going to do another, there's going to be another part of this video that I will explain after, after this. Okay, so this is what Ali Quartet looks like. So for those of you who want to enter to win it, go ahead and leave a comment that you would like to enter for Ali Quartet. And this... Like I've, I've probably meant, I know I mentioned in like the last um, video, not not my last video, but my, the video before last video, when I actually was announcing that I was doing the, the giveaway, um, the, their little hats have, um, have, um, variegated threads in them. And so each hat has a different variegated thread as when you get this, you'll see the difference. But um, so I'm giving you those threads. So there's 40, 65. I don't know if you can see that, but it's kind of, and you will see like a little bit of extra little clippings in there because that's my extra thread. I don't like to waste thread. So if you don't want it, then go ahead and start a new thing. There's plenty, plenty of here, plenty here. So that one's, it's like a greenish color. I can never, I don't have the thing up here to tell you what it's called, but um, the pattern will tell you which one is called, which, which, what each skein of variegated floss is called. And this one's 4140. This is, I think they call this one Driftwood because it has like kind of like different browns in it. And then... This one, I want to say this one's called Sunset, but don't quote me on that. This is 4126. And then this one, I, I don't know. I don't remember the, what this one is called. For, the, for, for all I know, this one is the Sunset one, but it's 4120 and it's brightish. I think you actually use this on the very first kitty cat, so... So, yep, it's coming with this and these four four gauge threads for the hat. Um, so if you want to enter to win that, just let me know. I have so much stuff in here right now. I'm actually in my craft room because I felt like this was the um, best place to um, film this video for what I'm doing because um, it's probably going to be obvious and I think it's going to be more obvious when I figure out a title for this but I think I'm doing somewhat of a tag video like like my own kind of a tag video hopefully nobody has ever done something like this before I mean I'm pretty sure it's been out there before but I don't know so um as many of you um well maybe maybe yes maybe no but I consider myself a Disney freak I love Disney and so I thought this would be a very fun um, t um, video tag to do other than just the small giveaway to do like um, a Disney tag you know like show I'm basically I'm showing every almost every basically everything Disney that I have Minus my, I'm not going to show, I'm not going to show Snow White, which is one of my whips. And then I also have another Disney, um, Disney pattern that I found out at a garage sale that was already started for me. But I'm not going to show that one. It's, it's a Winnie the Pooh and Tigger one. So let's go ahead and get started. And of course, I have to wear my Gooby hat. 
I mean, this is this is going to be a Disney tag after all, right? So, yeah. Okay, good. And Dancing with the Stars was on last night, and it was Disney theme. I don't know whoever watches um, Dancing with the Stars, but I tried wearing my goofy hat through through the whole thing, but it was just too hot. Um, but I'm going to wear it um, in this video, hopefully, hopefully through the whole thing, but I may end up taking it off. But um, anyways, so this is gonna be um, a Disney tag, and basically, I'm I'm not I'm not tagging anybody in particular. I'm just gonna show every single thing Disney that I have or that I have done, because some of those some of the things I'm gonna show you are puzzles um, that I've actually done and glued together. So um, I think the first thing I'm gonna sh go ahead and show though is because. Um, the puzzles I'm gonna have to show you standing up. So um, let's just start with all the um, DVDs that I have. Okay, so um, these are no in particular order, but they are all Disney related, I think. One of them I'm gonna show you, I'm not entirely sure if it's even here. I thought I had it. Well, oh, I'll just mention it, but I have Tangled. Of course, I had to get Tangled. One of the songs in here is um, our Mining Cabin song that we danced to at our wedding. And then I also have some of, the, some of these, um, I don't know. I know they're Disney, they're just older videos, but the Rescuers down under, I don't have the rest, just simply the Rescuers, although I do love that video. Movie, movie. I do love that movie, but I do have the rest of yours down under. And I have Pocahontas. This was the um, because originally I had like, okay, maybe not not Tangled, obviously, or not even um, Rescuers Down Under, but I had like a lot of these in in VHS, you know, when when VHS was out. Oh my gosh. So I had to, um, and then they stopped, you know, pretty much making VHS systems or whatever. So you kind of had to upgrade everything. So I upgraded some of some of my stuff. So Pocahontas was one of them. Um, so yeah, there's Pocahontas. I love Pocahontas. And then probably one of my favorites is the Little Mermaid. I love the Little Mermaid. As I was watching Dancing with the Stars last night, um... Not last season, but the season before last season. <laughs> um, I don't know if you remember Demi Demi Moore's daughter Rumor was on there, and her um, she did um, she did the Little Mermaid as well. She was Ursula, and she did that um, that song that Ursula sings when she's trying to convince um, Ariel to to um, give her her voice and what have you, and I. It was just amazing. I absolutely loved it. And I don't, I feel like nobody topped that last night. But I still love Dancing with the Stars. So um, the next one I have is Lion King. Which, <laughs> I don't even know if I've watched this since I've gotten it. I mean, I might have watched it a couple times since i gotten it. But, and then I have... Uh, the Fox and the Hound, which actually came with the first one and the second one, but I've only seen the first one. I'm going to try and not, like, make this a super long video, because I do have, like, a lot of stuff to show you. I'm telling you, like, if you're a Disney freak, you will probably stay through this whole video, hopefully. But, um, next one is Cinderella. Cinderella, Cinderella. And, da -da. and then I have Beauty and the Beast, of course. Of course, I have to have Beauty and the Beast. I love Beauty and the Beast. And then, um, when I tell me I love all Disney movies. And then I have Aladdin. And that's all the Disney ones I have. I, I have, well, at least I ha thought I had Finding Nemo. But, and I, I, I know that, I think that's more, um, Pixar, 
but I think it's still technically Disney, but I, I thought I had it, but I guess I forgot it, or, or maybe I'm tripping and maybe I just don't have it. Um, okay, so I think the next thing I will show you, since it's right next to me, are all, like, my figurines, because I, um, I technically kind of collect figurines, but, um, I don't have that many. In fact, like, my, um, my glass figurines, um, I only have four. First one, uh, first one I'm going to show you is, I'm going to try to, I'm going to be very careful, so I hope you can see these, but there's, I'm, see, I'm already freaking out that they fall out of my hands. This is Dopey. Just try to, like, I'm going to try and very carefully kind of turn it so you can kind of see him. An angle is probably the best, but that's Dopey. You can see his little hat right there and his cute little face. But, I mean, it's glass, so it's it's kind of hard to see since you're seeing through it. But, there's Dopey. <coughs> Excuse me. And, see, I'm already getting hot. I'm sorry, guys. I have to take off the hat, and now I have a hat hair. Woo! Um, so, I'm just going to start putting these over there. Oh, my gosh. Now I have hat hair. Um, and then, woo! I have little Nala. She's a little bit, she's more glass than anything also, but she does have a tiny bit of color for her tail and ears. So it's kind of hard to see, but that's little Nala. Again, trying to be very careful. And then, oops, this one's a little dusty on the bottom. Um, this one literally says Disneyland on it. I don't know if you can see that, like, um, like down here. Really hard to see. But, uh, Disney, and then, yeah, I can't, can't really see that, sorry, but this is Winnie the Pooh. That one's probably a little bit easier to see because I can actually hold it properly. And then lastly, of course, some of these are dusty on the bottom, I might need to, like, need to get into my curio cabinets and like start cleaning all these and then Mickey or he's dressed in his little um that little outfit <laughs> uh, Disney fan you'd think I know this but um in fan Fantasia is it Fantasia oh my gosh I'm, I'm losing my mind you would think I would know this but I don't but yeah there's Mickey in his little apprentice outfit for the sorcerer or whatever that was. And then um, I know I showed this before because me and Kevin just pre... Um, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Just um, recently went to see um, The Beauty and the Beast on Broadway in San Diego. Which, you know what? They had it here in our town. At what, at what is called the McCallum Theater for us. And um, one of um, one of the ladies who actually stitches. And like I um, I see her every now and again. Because she lives near me. Uh, very close. Um, she lives in like the same. Um, not the same area. But in the same city as I do. And um, she, she went to go see that. And she thought it was wonderful. And I. I took. It was absolutely wonderful. I know I showed this before, but yeah. Beauty and the Beast. Snow globe. I actually used to collect snow globes as well. I, I have some in my curio cabinet back behind me, but um, yeah, I'm not going to get all those out. And then I have another um, snow globe. This one is I think a little bit more detailed. You can see um, Thumper there and then Flower and then Bambi's on the inside. Oh, and then um, this is a Precious Moment. Precious Moments snow globe. So that's why they look a little, little bit more kiddish, I guess. Like, like, like childlike, maybe. And I just love it. I've had that for a while. I'm going to have to start remembering which ones I just showed. 
<laughs> so I'm moving them kind of forward. Um, my friend got me this for my birthday a while ago. Um, this is from the Aristocrats Marie. This is, this is actually a, um, what, what, what's that? Oh, what's a Jim Shore, a Jim Shore. So that was Marie from Aristocats. Um, and then the rest of these I'm going to show you are also um, precious moments. And I absolutely love them. That's Belle with the rose. They have others that I want to, but... Like, there's a jasmine one, a jasmine one that I really, 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 really want. Um, here's another bell with um, Mrs. Teapot and Chip, and she's reading to them because you know she loves to read. And then, since I just grabbed this, I might as well. This is Ariel with Sebastian and Flounder. I think, I think this was my, this could have been the first one I actually got. And then I have Snow White, who is also reading to Dopey, Grumpy, and I think that's Happy. Pretty sure that's Happy. He's smiling. But then again, so is Dopey, so. <laughs> And then I got, a, um, this one is Jessie, little cowgirl Jessie with a little cowgirl precious moments, little girl. And then, I know I had Finding Nemo with this one. You got Dory and, um, Peach is in the little bucket and... Uh, I could not tell you what turtle that is because it doesn't exactly look like Squirt, but could be him. But then, then there's Nemo. I'm pretty sure that's Nemo. It looks like Nemo. Oh, yeah. See, you can't really see it on camera, but there's like his little gim gimpy gill. Um, gimpy gill. Gimpy um, fin on the other side of him. And then... I have little Eeyore. My, it, he almost looks happy on camera, but he is supposed to be more sad. And then my last one is Aurora with the three little, um, her three little um, fairies, godmother fairies. So that's all my figurines, and then I've been to Disneyland a couple of times, and I've gotten a couple of those, you know, like, you put a quarter in, and then the penny, and then they come out. So that one's dopey. You probably cannot see that at all. Maybe very literally. The silver one, the silver one is probably the first one I got. It's mini writing, writing, um, a unicorn for a carousel. I love Disneyland. I really, 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 really want to go back, but Kevin doesn't really like going, so I'd have to, like, wait for a day where, like, my mother-in-law could come and we would take my nephew with us. And then um, this is just the Cheshire Cat. You can see that. So yeah, and then um, getting closer to being done, I guess I'm going to show, I have um, a couple of Disney bags that I have to show. And then I'll be kind of showing my stuffed animals at the same time. So, um, this one, I don't have any stuffed animals in at the moment, but I have, I'm going to go up slowly. This is an Eeyore bag that I usually have yarn in when I'm doing my crochet stuff. 
I'm just going to go up slowly. Hopefully you can hear me from back here. And then the, the handles are have little polka dots on them, if you can see that. And then um, inside the bag is a little bag, too, for, like, your change or whatever. So there's that. I think I'm going to hold that in my lap right now. Um... I guess I'll go ahead and show you my first stuffed animal. This is a Christmassy one. This is Eeyore and his little Christmas outfit. I might need to scoot back here. And he's just so cute. And he's like in little Christmassy pajamas. Oh, I love him. And then, he, of course, his tail is Velcro and it comes off because it's supposed to. But it's still attached to him so you don't lose it. And I just, oh my gosh, I love him. This was, um, I got this, I, what was it? Had to be 2013. And, um, I told myself I wasn't going to get a stuffed animal. Wasn't going to get a stuffed animal. And I got a stuffed animal. <laughs> but he's just so cute. He's, they're all my favorites, but, like, he's probably one of my favoritest. If that makes any sense. And then, so these first three I'm going to show you are, like, my bigger ones. They're not really that big, but they're big. And then, okay, so this is, I, th I think this is considered, um, like a classic Winnie the Pooh. I love stuffed animals. I love you did not hear that last little part I just said. <laughs> I said I love stuffed animals, but I just said it even softer than I usually do. And then I got one of those big tiggers that you get at like the Disney store. This one, um, I think this, cause they come in like, I think they come in like a bluish color or like this golden -y color. We don't have a Disney store in our mall anymore. Don't know why they took it down, but they did. Um, I used to have an Eeyore, but I think he, I, I don't know, I got rid of him for some reason. But I still have Tigger, so he's like the biggest one I have. And I love Tigger. I love Tigger. Probably going to have to move these before I show the um, puzzles. Let's get up a little bit. I will show you all. The one, I have some of them, like, stuffed in my bags because <laughs> I had to, like, carry them from, um, one room to the other. So, here's, this is, um, this is another classic Winnie the Pooh, but it's, um, it's a smaller one. Yeah, see, classic Pooh by Disney. Tag's a little wrinkled, but it's a little one. He actually, you know what, I think he came with a blanket, but I don't think I have that blanket anymore. So there's that one. And then this is kind of like a series, if you will. This is the classic poo, but this is the, um, this is Tigger. This is classic Tigger. See his little eyes. He's cute. I like them. I like them all from my dog. I love them all. I'm just trying to figure out where to put these. Until they and then another one, but this is Piglet. Oh my gosh, I almost forgot the name. Little Piglet. Can't really see the eyes, but there's the eye. Little feet and bottom. So cute. And then I also and then got Eeyore. Of course, I had to get Eeyore. I just, I love the little classic look, look to, um, these little ones. And that's so funny, I think, you know, I think I found these at Target in, like, the baby section. <laughs> ah, that's funny. I think that's funny. And then I have, this is just, um, an Eeyore that I picked up from, probably from Disneyland. And he's just a little viewer. He's so cute. His tail comes off too. 
It's a little tricky, but. Last one that's in this bag is I don't know, my my um same friend that got um that gave me that um kitty cat the Marie from a Chris Aristocat also gave me this little Mickey, you know, like the toot toot Mickey, you know, he's on the boat. I think he's really cute. So let me put some of these back into this. Well, actually, first, <laughs> let me show you another bag that I have. This is Mickey only. Look, some of the thread is kind of coming apart, but um, you have Mickey on the side there, and then there's just Mickey's all around it. It's, it's a really sturdy bag. I would call it a sturdy bag. Okay, it was showing it pretty good, and then it kind of stopped. Stupid computer! Maybe if I... Oh, that's a little bit better if I hold it backwards. But, yeah. There's that one. Okay. Then I'm going to really quickly put these guys back in the bag. And then I'll take them back later to the room that they were originally in. When I used to live with my parents, I had my own bed, and then, like, all my stuffed animals I would have on my bed. But, I don't really do that anymore, because it's mine and my husband's bed, not, not just mine anymore. Um, so I just showed you those. Um, this bag only has yarn in it, because, like I said, most of these bags I put yarn in for my crochet projects. And I know I've showed you this before. This is a bag that we also, that I got, um, seeing the Broadway, the, uh, Beauty and the Beast on Broadway. And then I, this, where's the other bit? Oh, it's right down there. Oh, and this, this doesn't, I think, so that was all the, um, stuffed animals then. And then this one has yarn in it, so hopefully you can see it, but it's mostly pink. Well, on the back it's all pink, but it also has Eeyore on it. Just kind of simple Eeyore. And then I don't know if you can see, but like some of the little patches have that. That's a butterfly. There's a heart. So yippee. Let me put these back here where I had them and then I will go ahead and get up and hopefully I'm going to show you all the puzzles oops had my hat on the floor and um well let's see how the hat uh, the, the hat thing how the puzzle things goes like I said I'm gonna have to stand up and move um okay I'm not gonna do these really in particular order but I'm going to um, try and do them kind of by theme. So this is going to be one of those, um, they're called photo mosaics. And so each little puzzle piece had a different, um, had a different picture related to Winnie the Pooh. And these, these are, are, if anybody knows puzzles, you know, you know these are very intricate. And as I do this, I'm going to go ahead and set them down at the same time where I had them before. So you're going to have to be, this is why I'm doing this last, because it has to, it's, um, you're going to have to be patient with me, <laughs> I suppose. Um, here's another photo mosaic, and this is also um, a Winnie the Pooh one, my friend Winnie the Pooh. Another, I just said that, another photo mosaic. And then I'll fix that later. And then this is the last photo mosaic. And this is a Mickey Mouse. This is Mickey Mouse, not a Mickey Mouse. It is Mickey Mouse. 
This one's probably my favorite. I just think it's so cool. And with this one, this is like literally every Disney movie. There's Lady and the Tramp on here. There's Aladdin. There's, yeah, there's pretty much like everything. Every little picture has a different like movie. They're worth it when they're done. They definitely take time. Um, these, I believe, are, um, there's three of them, and uh, they're, um, I believe they're Thomas Kincaid's, and literally, like, all the, um, the Thomas Kincaid Disney ones, the, the cross-stitch, the, these are puzzles of those. So I have, um, Pinocchio here. Snow White is the only one of those I'm going to do, and I don't actually, I don't have, oops, I don't have that puzzle, but, there we go, that's a little bit better, but, if you've seen that Thomas Kincaid, you know what that already looked like, so, and then I also have Beauty and the Beast. Not having the light shine through it. It's kind of like sh showing a frame, you know, when the glare comes in. And then the last one I did was Mer Little Mermaid. This one is just so much fun. And these two, I'm going to show you, I don't know who did them. Um, I don't even think I have the, I might have the boxes still, but um, they're like stamps. And some of these I might have to actually re-glue. This one's almost coming apart and I also have to, I also have to clean them off some more, but it's like they're stamps. I wish they made these stamps, but... I think they're so cool. I think it, I think they also, they might have like another one that I haven't done yet that I would like to do if I can find it, but I don't even know if I have the time anymore. And then this is a second one with different ones. Are, well, the author is written down at the bottom, uh, Peter Ellenshaw. They're, um, I, I just, they're absolutely, I think they're absolutely gorgeous. I wish he would have made more of these. Um, this is Snow, um, Cinderella Grand Arrival is what the title says at the bottom here. And if you can see that, probably not. Right there we go. Cinderella's Grand Arrival. Peter Ellenshaw, and I just think these are absolutely gorgeous. I wish these could be cross stitches. And then I have, uh, this one's called Fishing with Friends. There's Pooh, Tigger, and Piglet. They're fishing. If you can see that, it's kind of hard because I don't know how to fix the glare on here. I thought I was doing a good job and then the glare came back. And then, this one's called Mickey Dr Mickey's Dream. I'm wondering if you can see that there. I think it depends on what the color is for the puzzle. If it's a lighter color, then you're going to see more glare than when it's like all like really colorful kind of a thing. 
you know, one day I would love to get all of these framed, but, um, way too much money. That's going to be way too much money. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Here's another Winnie the Pooh one. This is called Reflection of Friendship. Reflections of Friendship. And there's Winnie the Pooh. Uh, Piglet and Christopher Robin is on, like, on the other side of the bridge, like, facing the other side of the bridge, if that makes any sense. Okay, this video is getting a little bit longer than I wanted to, so if you made it this far, I totally appreciate it. And then... Here's another Winnie the Pooh one, Rescuing the Piglet. So if you've seen Winnie the Pooh, you already know what this probably looks like. <laughs> uh, so you got, I think you got a rabbit. Or that, where is that Kang? I don't know. For all I know, that's Kanga and Roo. But it looks kind of like a rabbit more to me. It looks more like a rabbit to me. Glare's driving Chelsea crazy. And then I'm just gonna put this one in the back because this the next one I'm gonna show you is the last one. And this was the very first one of these that I did. It's called Off to Home We Go. And you probably know what that means. It's the seven dwarfs. Woo! Off to their cottage. And I just this was probably my favorite one. I just, probably just probably why it was the first one I did. That's gonna drive me nuts with the glare. But there you go. That's all my Disney stuff. Um, like I said, I'm not fix this again. Um, I'm not tagging anybody in particular, but I uh, just thought it was like a fun little idea to do like a Disney tags, show whatever um, Disney stuff you have, whether it's all of it, some of it, if, um, yeah. Honestly, you know, I, for someone who considers themselves a Disney freak, me, um, you would think I would have more stuff, but I actually don't. Um, so that could be a good thing or it could be a bad thing. I don't know. Um, but anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video and um, I really encourage you if you really like Disney and um, want to do um, this little tag, I suppose you could call it a tag, like I said, I'm kind of just doing it because I thought it'd be fun to show everything Disney that I have because I consider myself a Disney freak and I love Disney and I just wanted to do it. So, um, thank you so much for watching and subscribing and I hope you guys all have a great day and, um, if you wanted to enter to win for Ali Quartet, um, let me know and, um, I'll see you all later. I did want to, um, uh, mention that I'm very much thinking of not doing an April update. I'm thinking of doing an April May update. So the um, and well you will see my you will see me again when I announce the winner of Alley Quartet. But after that you won't see me and see me until the end of May. Oh, which by the way, um for Alley Quartet, um today is Tuesday. Um I'll, I'll probably announce the winner next Tuesday, let's say. Does, does that sound fair? I mean, if, if anybody thinks maybe I should leave it up a little bit longer, let me know. But I think I will go ahead and announce the winner next Tuesday. So, um, bye-bye.